Hello my fellow YouTuber friends and um, here we are again with another video for you um, and this time it's about a macro. He's uh, going to be coming in right now. In fact, he's here. Trevor. Oh, hello, Ian. Good afternoon. Oh, gosh. Trevor, nice to see you. Nice to see you, buddy. <laughs> and Trevor's, what Trevor's going to do is uh, he's going to show us some nice, nice equipment for macro. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about macro. I'm going to ask him some questions and we're going to get, you know, uh, go through some lenses, aren't we? Yeah, I'll have a, just um, have, a, have a general look at what I've got in my bag. Yeah. So it should be fun. So shall we start then? Yeah, we'll start with the tripod. Let's start, start with the tripod. Everyone needs a tripod, don't they? Indeed, they do. So, so what tripod? Why, why is this a special tripod? It's is not. It's not particularly tripod? special. No, it's right. a <clears throat> it's a Gizzo or Gizzo Gizzo expensive um, <laughs> Gizzo um, Mountaineer oh, nice, Mountaineer Series Two. About five, five, six hundred quid somewhere. Wow. Right, um, okay. The good thing about this, fairly light, carbon fibre, nice and robust. You can take the centre column out. Yeah. Um, you can stick it upside down if you like, but you can take the centre column out, flatten it out, and for macro work, you can be grovelling about on the floor. Right. To your heart's content. So, so how, how do these work power. compared to other um, tripods, <clears throat> Trevor? In what respect, young man? So, some tripod, like I've got a tripod, yeah. and this arm you, you bring up and you can pull it out flat. Yeah. So it goes flat, and that's as low as you can go. You can only go to a certain. Yeah. You can only go so low. But what about this one? I'll just whip it on for you. Just so you know. So all you've got to do is whip, whip. What? Simple as that. Okay. Oh, wow. Stick your head back in. Screw it on. Flat as a pancake. Lovely. So you get some things right. So nice, really nice and flat. Yeah, nice. And then with a couple of other little gizmy gizmos in there, yeah. I can, should I so require, <laughs> tilt it on into portrait with camera portrait mode, but I put a slider on there and get it get right it really down low. really low. So, so this, this, this nice and versatile. That, that angle when you yeah. not get your Yeah, no, no. Yes, yes, you, yes. you can twiddle it about. Yeah. Do yeah. Anything. But yes, you can get it nice and low. Oh, wow. Which is why I liked it. And it's fairly fairly light, not the lightest of lights. I just felt that it's nice really and, light. Nice and robust. So yeah. I'll stick that out of the way. <clears throat> and there's one thing I must because we've got lots of little pockets. Hang on, let's see if we, we can see what we got in here. Tissues. Now, most important thing for me, and this is unusual, when I'm out groveling about in the field, photographing insects or whatever it is, I've got some Oh, Bite and sting cream. Not a bad idea. And I've got some antihistamine tablets because I suffer very badly with horse fly bites. Yes. And so, there's so there's... it was suggested to me that if I had bite and sting cream and antihistamines in my bag, mm. as soon as I've been bit, I can pop one of them, rub some cream on it, and mitigate the uh, disaster. And it worked. I did get bit last year, and did I had that on hand. Did you Did you come out in a, a well? I, 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 depending on where I get, but it swells up like you would not believe. Yeah. But not just the swelling; I get very ill. Yeah. So I did applied it. I got a bit on my little finger. I applied the thing instantly. Popped a pill, and I was two days feeling rubbish. And swollen really? up. Wow. Whereas so normally I'm out for a while. I have heard this. The so horse flies can really affect they're something. Nasty, nasty they are very things. nasty. And there's how many species are there? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. There's I too many, there's a, but there's quite a few. I made a challenge to myself at the beginning of last year mm. because of my suffrage of horse flies. Um, I challenged myself to go and photograph macro photo horse flies. <gasps> And I was successful. I've got some lovely ones. And if Brilliant. you haven't been up close and personal with a horsefly, I highly recommend it. 
Well, we can see some in, can't we? Yes, we'll show so, them. Yeah, you'll yeah. put some in. I've brought some photos with you. Yeah, fantastic. So you edit them in for them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the one thing to, to, to enjoy about horsefly, forget the biting and all the rest of it, when you see the eyes, if you haven't seen the eyes, psycho eyes, they are fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful insects. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that old rubbish. <laughs> you can tell he's passionate. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. What's he got in his bag? So, yeah, right, what have you got in your bag, Trevor? First one. <clears throat> we have a Canon EOS R. Yes. Uh, up until I bought this, I was using 5D Mark IV, mm -hmm. which I still have. So what's the difference? And still love. Um, the biggest thing for me, macro-wise, is the flippy out, yeah. twisty bout screen because a lot of macro work I'm lying on the floor grovelling about in the yeah. mud and I'm down low <coughs> and with that tilty app screen yeah. you can do everything on the screen I couldn't agree more nearly all of it is manual focus mm -hmm. so you can just touch your focus point and use the focus, si yeah. focus assist and being, a, being mirrorless <coughs> I've, got the, I've got the adapter the EF, RF EF adapter on yeah. With the control ring. Okay. Which is brilliant. And how um, does that work with so the I can macro? So I can just set me set me um, aperture. aperture on that. Excellent. Yeah. And of course, being um, electronic viewfinder yeah. or the screen, you can see what you're doing to your exposure yeah. as you're mucking about. Yeah, so it's just brilliant. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I can see that. Can and see. with you know 30 megapixels, there's yeah. plenty enough to, to play with. <laughs> Just a, just a quick note, notes. we're actually uh, video on, on, on um, an EOS R right now, aren't we? So, oh, uh, yes, there you are. So the EOS R there. Yeah, and I've got a 5 4 strap. <laughs> and we're also Canon uh, G3, oh, G3X. It's all Canon. And, oh, Canon. hello, <laughs> 4K, GoPro. 4K GoPro. So we've got a few cameras going on at the moment, we'll just see how that all pans out on the video. Okay, over to you again. The other thing Sorry. I've got, the recent acquisition, Canon's RF35 f1.8 macro, which is right. just wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Get me in. Okay, so Canon's 35mm RF f1.8 with IS, little macro lens. It's only nice. it's only half, uh, you know, one to two rather than one to one macro. Right. But is it one to one? No, one to two. One to two. Half, half, yeah, half size. Sorry, I didn't hear. Half you. size, yeah. But it's just brilliant, and not only is it macro lens, it's a general purpose everything else lens. Yeah. And look how compact and lightweight yeah. that is. It's yeah. just lo no, I love. I absolutely love. I'm very lens. tempted to buy this lens. Bro. If I must admit. Now I've got. What was it? Four, four and a half, five, something like that. Five, yeah, about five hundred quid. Eh? But yeah, that, that is light. That's brilliant. That is light. That is incredible. Yeah, Compared to something like that, yeah, which I thought was yeah, 60. But well, yeah, I mean, it's the it's the compactness, and I, but you know, sometimes four, four, five, five D Mark Four is is yeah. that weight, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, and I mean, sometimes I just don't want the lug. There's probably about thirty kilos here. Yeah, I just want to travel light, so I'll just slap it on. Bing bang bosh, everything's yeah. hunky dory. It's fantastic. Yeah. I love it. I'm very tense. I must admit. Yes, yeah, brilliant. And you can use it for so much landscape. Yeah. General photography, street photography, piece of cake, an F18, nice and wide. Do you, do you rate um, the 100 mil? I do. You do? I know. Yeah. That was the first first macro lens I ever bought. Yeah. And over the over the years, I've dipped in and out of macro. Uh, when I first got that and first played about with it, I thought, oh, God, this is too hard. I can't be done with this. Yeah. And then moved on back into wildlife and stuff. And then uh, when they brought out the... It's pre that's predecessor, the hundred, the L version yes, with the IS. This is the non-L. Yeah, yes. I went and bought that mm -hmm. and got back into macro yeah. and enjoyed it, but then didn't really get right into it. Mm -hmm. And it's only, I don't know, recently, last sort of 18 months that I've really been, excuse the pun, bitten by the macro bug. Mm. And to that end, I mean, I've been fortunate that I can buy some nice equipment um, yeah. and to that end I just love it yeah because you're never short of something to photograph mm. 
in the macro world. But, yeah, she's not really, are you? There's always, you might not, you know, if you're going out for birds and this, that and the other, you might not see any decent birds, you might mm. get bored. There's always an insect or a yeah. flower or yeah, some very nice true. leaf pattern or some moss, lichen, tons and tons of stuff that, you know, you just walk past, don't mm. give a thought to, but when you get really close and into detail, it's <gasps> yeah. exciting, it's lovely. It is, isn't it? Right, so let's move on. On 100mm f2.8 L series macro lens, the uh, next one along from your from the 100mm. Yep. The standard 100mm. Yes. Um, lovely, beautiful lens, nice and sharp, and hang on, pop that on. It is a nice, lightweight, convenient package. Yeah, very nice. Super lightweight. Yeah. You know what it's like, but have a have a feel of my lens. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they're yeah, it does the job. Beautifully sharp, it and it's light, got the it? hybrid Canon's hybrid image stabilisation in, mm. which works brilliantly for handheld handheld shots. Yeah. So, so this is the updated version from mine, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. And this is the Mark II, isn't it? No, it's not a Mark II. It's just it, it's just it's, 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 it's standard. There was one, never a Mark II. It's, it's just it's an L series. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thus far. Well, yeah. to be fair, I don't think they can up. Great on that, can unless, unless, of course, they do an RF version. Well, I wonder if in the future know. they might do, which would be nice. But, I mean, well, you've, we've already got the RF. We have. 5 mil, not the macro lens, there goes, that for all sorts of stuff. So, yes, brilliant lens, yeah. very nice, lightweight, and will take flashes if you want to uh, start controlling the light. Of course, being 100 mil, um, yes. you need to be in quite close with that, don't you? Yeah. And you can't really stick an, uh, an extender on that either, can you? No, it won't work with an extender. Um, why is we'll, that? We'll work, we'll work with um, extension tubes. Yes. But not with a... An, ex an one extender. One four or two Yeah, 1.4 extender or a two times yeah. extender or converters, as some people okay. call them. And why is that? Um, because True. physically, I have one here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the two times extender here. Okay. Physically. What, what mark is that? Mark three. Okay. This is the later version. Yeah. Physically, it won't fit on the lens because the front element of the converter is yep. standing proud from the lens mount. Okay. And it will foul the rear element. Yeah. Of the hundred mil, I'm not going to put it together, but uh, you get them. Yeah. Get the idea. It won't fit. Well, that's a good good thing to drop onto because if you were to buy or you wanted to buy this lens in the hope that you might be able to put an extender on, there's your answer. It's not no, going to happen. It <coughs> it's not going to happen. No. But close, close focus. we were talking about. Mm. Hang on, something's occurring. Um, yeah. Close focusing, your what? Closest focus distance is 30 centimetres with this. Right. So you have to get fairly close if you want full one to one mm. macro. Which with the old one? Oh, I think it'd be probably about the same. Ooh, you, you've got a lens scale on there? Distance scale? No, distance scale. Oh, one centimetre more. Holy yeah, see, moly! So there you go, you see? Yeah. So, so I've got to be one centimetre more further away, back. further back. <laughs> and yeah. so there, there is a difference there. I, I would have yeah, thought there was. Yeah. Not much. Not much. No. I, I mean, the biggest difference in the two lenses is the, is the uh, stabilisation. And being an L-series lens, it's got a different build quality. I think there's a bit of weather, weather sealing in there. Yeah. Thrown in for, yeah, well, this for is good a measure. A little bit more plastic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, I'm sure you're going to flash up on the screen some pictures I've taken with this combination. Final macro lens, mm -hmm. which is Ooh. Canon's 180 f3.5 macro, L series macro lens. Right. Um, absolute beast of a lens. The major advantage, there's two really good things about this lens. The major advantage is closest focus is almost half a metre. So it's at 40, 48 centimetres. Mm -hmm. So I can keep away when I'm photographing and insects, uh, damselflies, dragonflies, butterflies, all the flighty little pests. Yeah. 
that don't like you getting close, mm -hmm. I can keep the distance <clears throat> and still get lovely shots of them doing yeah. what they do, which the is eight. brilliant, and get yes. stunning detail as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that is really special about this lens is I can use it with a 1.4 or a 2 times teleconverter. Why? Because, because the rear element is deep. right down in there, mm -hmm. and and is this is this quite common with zoom lenses? <coughs> yeah, so the element's not further a, down. It's not a zoom. No, it's not. It's, 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 it's common in prime, prime lenses. Common in prime lenses. Yeah, is it prime lenses. Right. So when you're getting into, I mean, Canon seem to do this. <coughs> excuse me. When you're going from 180 mil above, yeah, on a prime lens. That rear element goes deep. Appears to be further, yeah. further so, up the so barrel, mate. So you can stick the converter <laughs> on. So they're, they're actually designed. The converters are designed for Canon's yeah. Super Telephoto primes. Yeah. But there are a few extras that they will fit. Okay. There's also a few zoom lenses that will fit. But we don't want to digress. But what's, what's the aperture of that? Hang you on, boy. F3, oh, okay. F three point five. Three point five. Yeah. Okay. But the fact that it will take. A two times extender and Canon's 1.4 extender mm -hmm. means that with this beastie on, I've doubled my magnification. So instead of one to one life size macro, I've now got two to one life size macro. If I put the um, 1.4 extender on, I get 1.4 times macro mm. life size. Okay, but yeah. I, I tend to use this almost exclusively with. The two times extender on, and of course you get 360. So effectively, that's transferred, transformed this lens into a 360 mil f/7 mm. macro lens, mm. and the focus in, minimum focusing distance has not changed. It's no. still at just under half a meter, <clears throat> which makes it brilliant. So mm. those little butterflies that I was taking before at half a meter, mm -hmm. once I've got that on, they're twice as big. Yeah. So Brilliant. the detail is fantastic, yeah. and you can get all the compound eye detail and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And of course, <coughs> with macro, um, yeah, because of the depth of field being so shallow, there is a there is a get around, isn't there? And the, the get around is, of course, um, flash. And yes. Well, yes and no. Um, you do because you're, you're, you're working, not, you're you're working so thing. close. Yeah. You want to get the aperture fairly small yeah. to get, increase that depth of field, but even so, you're still talking about millimetres yeah, of, of, of depth of yeah. field. So nine times out of ten when you're focusing, uh, say a spider, mm. if you've got the eyes in sharp focus, mm. depending on which lens you're using, very often not much else is going to be in sharp yeah. focus. Yeah. So um, you can increase that by closing your aperture up, going for a higher F number, mm. um, and controlling the light by sticking a flash on. Mm. Which brings us nice and neatly <laughs> into <laughs> the next thing that I've got in my bag. And what do you have in your bag? Which is a good old Canon. I must just, can I take this opportunity to tell That's everyone that I have no affiliation with Canon at all. Oh yes, I just, I've been a Canon user since the days of film cameras. Um, way back late 70s, early 80s, um, and I just love Canon. They just talk they work, to They work for Lovely. you. Lovely, yeah. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant product. I get that, I get that. So, uh, and I'm the yes. same, I'm, I love Canon as well and um, always have done, but I say I always have done, I did start with Olympus and <coughs> quickly found out that um, I didn't really like, really like their menus that much, and I didn't like the, uh, the very, cropped sensor that they have. Um, the, uh... <laughs> okay, so I've got here the Macro Twin Light MX26 EX RT, for those who like to know precisely, um, which is their twin flash, the latest RT version, radio transmitter version. Mm -hmm. um, and it is absolutely wonderful bit of kit. I'm just going to pop that on. Stick the bracket on the front. Just so going back to your that. lens there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for people that don't know, how, how much are they for the 100 mil uh, oh, macro lens? 100 mil macro. The RS. Oh, that's what I've got on here, haven't I? Yes. Who's Nick too? How are you, swine? <laughs> um, we'll get yeah. to that in a sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll that backwards. 
100 mil macro is, I think, retails about uh, eight or nine hundred quid now, isn't it? Yeah, they have which is ridiculous. Yeah. Lots of money. Yeah. I have to say, I bought mine second hand <laughs> for about five hundred. I think. That's not bad. Still a lot of money. Well, it's not bad. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Yes. Yeah, so so what, these ones are. They, can you buy these new anymore? Yes. You can. Buy oh them yes, new. yes, yes. And it's still okay. there's no Mark II version. It's just the original one eighty three five macro. Yeah. As it was born all those years ago. Yeah. Um, and how much are they new? Oh, about twelve hundred quid. Are they? Loads of money. Well, Loads of money. For but mm, that's all right. Having said that, it, it's such a superb lens. Yeah. Now, this is my personal experience. No one else's. Um, well, it might be other people's. I don't know. But having used the hundred mil macro, both the, old, the original version and the new L series version, mm. and this one, the one eighty, even without extenders on, when it, in its raw form. <clears throat> I find that that resolves much more detail than the 100 mil, and it's further away. Yeah. Well, you were talking to me about um, eye detail, and that you can see all the yeah the compound the eye compound detail. Eye, yeah. I mean, you can you can obviously do that with the yeah. with the 100 mil, but you get that much closer. But when mm. it, you know, I have actually compared two two pictures, one taken with that, one taken mm. with that, and there's so much more detail with yeah. the 180. Now, I don't know why. Canon's technicians might be able to tell us. Well, you know, this isn't a scientific uh, no, review no, no. on but, uh, photography yeah, no, no, no. as such, is no, it? So, no, but that's just my personal opinion. This is more real, real, real world, yeah. view, real world use, and what you find is flash. yes, flash. Yeah, brilliant. So, how much is this flash? Brilliant. Oh, don't you're obsessed <laughs> with money, Ian. You're Wait, obsessed I'm, with no, it. No, 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 not me. It's, no, it's everyone you, else out there. If you go out and buy that today, you're going to come home with not much change from eleven hundred quid. <laughs> How much? Wow, it's just, really? Just insane. Wow, that is Absolutely a lot of money. insane. So what do you get for your money? <coughs> what you see. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you don't get, good old Canon, they've never done this. There's an, you need an adapter ring depending on the size of your lens. And that's not involved in the price. That's not involved in the price. No, You'll get to buy that separately. Um, but what I did, being a clever little chappy who loves macro, I bought one for each of my lenses. Mm -hmm. I also bought a 58mm lens cap for each of my lenses okay because the standard lens cap you get with the lens will not now fit when you've got the adapter on mm -hmm. so i can just pop that on and leave the adapter on no mm -hmm. mucking about and all my lenses are ready to pop the flash on should it be required so yes. back to the flash yeah works brilliantly whichever lens even with a 35 mil piece of cake yeah um you can control the two heads independently. Yeah. They'll dip in and dip out. I've got a, yeah, I've got diffusers on there, which yeah. you do. I find you do need the flash can be a little bit harsh, especially when you're really close up. Um, they also twist, so there's quite a lot of control, and you can put them. And you, did you just say you that you can um, flash them independently? You can so flash you them independently. One, one. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can have. You can change the power yeah. on each flash balance them out you can even have one flash off one flash on yeah so so if it's, a, of, it's a very sunny day it's very harsh you know you've got the, the, the sun right up yeah 12 o'clock yeah and it's beaming down it's got these real harsh shadows yeah, you and zap nasty off. shadows that you don't like zap before, that out. you can overpower that with, yeah, with that of course lovely old um, job it is yeah and yeah. You, you're on uh, the high speed sink haven't you you can use high-speed high speed sync as well, sync yes, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, it does everything. Um, have you ever used high-speed sync on that with, with macro? I, I don't know if you have one or not. I have. Whether you get that high. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I, have. Yeah. I, have. Um, I, um, I have to say not a huge amount. Um, that's one of the things I'm going to be employing this year yeah. um, with my insect photography, um, yeah. particularly the spiders. Um, because I've had in the part last year, I got some a beautiful sequence of um, mm. labyrinth spiders mating. In fact, I got two sequences: one one day and one the next day. Um, we can put them up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stick, yeah. Stick, stick, stick a couple, one or two <laughs> of them up there. Um, but it was, a, I mean, a fantastic thing to witness. Mm. Um, but I wasn't using a high speed sync because it all just kicked yeah. off and I wasn't expecting it. And I just yeah. got to get this, got to get this, click, 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 click. 170 shots later. <gasps> Woo! Um, yeah, I got it. I, I got it, yeah. <laughs> um, so this year I'm going to be doing 
using high speed sync, mm. but I'm also going to be using one or two of my other flashes yeah. in the mix, right. which is a little bit unusual. Well, I don't know if it's unusual, but... Um, well, I used to use um, exactly that, and, and I still do. I mean, yeah. The 600EX2RT? Yeah. The X Mark II RT, yeah. And again, the RT, the latest versions, because that radio transmission is what I like. The, yes, the radio transmitter. That you can yeah, radio trans there, yeah. transmission. So does that have that, 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 that transmission for these this, as well? I've got this set up as a master and these two as a slave okay. at the moment. doesn't have to be, any of them can be master, any of them can be slave. Um, and I use this set up to photograph my dogs, believe it or not, because I wanted this as a front light, yeah. just to fill in, a little bit of fill in, and I wanted these behind and yeah. off to, to, to do some interesting canine photography <laughs> effects. But that's not yeah. so. Back and to the point we, about we this year, year coming up with the insects coming about. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use this setup mm -hmm. in conjunction with these yeah. with another secret weapon, which oh. is da -da 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 -da, a flash diffuser. Okay. Which is, I've got. Uh, I've got two of these. That's good. They are brilliant. Not. I mean, this is not normal macro equipment. Going back, going on price again because I'm always going on price. Aren't I? <laughs> but, but how much are the um, 600 RT BX2 um, RTs? They are each? several pennies. They are, aren't they? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, do you know? I think. Them? Well, they, there's often promotions on the flashes because yeah. they seem to go up and down as the year goes. They're still around. not cheap, are they? They're still not cheap. I think they're but about they 600 good. Good quid each. Yeah. Um, and going, but, moving on to about flashes and, and triggers. Yeah. Um, I can remember a day when I, um, I'm not going to name company names, but um, I, I had a second party um, transmitter yeah, on yeah. A, a running my... Yeah. I remember those days well, Mr. Ian. Yes. And every time you got a new camera... <laughs> wouldn't really work, would it? Wouldn't work. Ooh. Why wouldn't it work? Because the firmware that worked originally didn't work with yeah. the new camera, yeah. it just didn't recognise it. Yeah. And the problem is with these third, work, third party um, triggers and flashes, they, uh, they kind of take their time with firmware updates. Yeah, yeah. Now there's a little bit there because I got fed up in the end because it took months and months and I couldn't actually see them doing anything about it. No, I, no. I uh, wrote emails and all sorts. Yeah. Nothing bad. Not interested. Not interested. No. So, do you know what I've done? You threw them all out and I sold them. Got your cannons, and didn't I got you? I've got my cannons. Yeah. Pay, pay some money. Get cannon. And get the quality. I'm, I'm not always. saying get cannon, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> if you if you've got to make, it doesn't matter whether it's Olympus, Canon, uh, you whatever, Nikon, yeah. you name it. Yeah. It's best to get home brands. Home, home brands to that brand. Other than lenses, of course, lenses work as well. But even then. I do find Sometimes that they, they can issues. be a little bit slow on the auto focusing, yeah. so even that. Yeah. Don't so you know. Dangerous territory there, Mr. Robinson. Well, it is. Yeah, we yeah. know that. So, again, back to point in hand. Yes. Um, Luster light, um, speed light. I can't remember what they're called. Um, That's quite a decent size. I know. The, these are the Joe McNally ones. <coughs> I don't know if you can see that with the overhead, Joe McNally. Yeah. Um, only I can't remember why I bought the Joe McNallys. I've got two on one fridge. Duper digit, yeah. Flash gun. Um, nice diffused light as is. Yes. You can increase that <coughs> diffusion even more by adding the included diffuser, mm -hmm. um, and that will give you absolutely gorgeous soft diffused light. Yeah, very nice. Now um, Ian's going to flash up a photo of a couple of crocuses I took. Very recently, because mm -hmm. um, it's only just come up. Pro lens. I used the 180 without that on. I used the 180 mm -hmm. because I forgot the other lens. <laughs> I've normally got them all in my bag, but I, for some reason they weren't in there, and I thought, oh my god, I wanted the 100 mil. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so I used the 180 without the extender on. Right. I used two flashes. Yeah. 
the crocus was crocuses were there. Yeah. I had one flash there with a diffuser on. Yeah. The other flash with a diffuser on, angled in like that. Yeah. Just on sitting on the floor. I was mm. grovelling on the floor, like a good one. Mm. I was back here actually because I had that one on. Um, and the camera was sort of about here, something like that. Mm -hmm. And I've got, well you'll see the picture, but the, the lighting here, the two diffused flashes, mm -hmm. has given an absolutely gorgeous soft light, mm. brought out the colours, and yeah. you can see all the little veins in the I've leaves, seen, yeah, nicely, nicely accentuated mm. by the shadow detail, yeah. and just the three fronds of leaf. Mm little highlights on them and I, I, you know because I had that lens I've cropped a nice black tail background and a black tail background yeah um, because I had that blue and great big lens on mm. I had to get the distance but I've cropped it I, I very limited room so I've cropped it a little bit tighter than I would have liked mm. but you you know you'll see the photo you'll get the idea detail. how Plenty beautiful detail. soft the light these little doors um, give well the, the, the details there isn't it and the, yeah. and the black uh, background just emphasizes the, the <coughs> The flower itself, anyway. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You, you know, you don't need the background. Yeah, yeah. You don't want it actually. Same so. with that that photo. You might have already put it up. So I presume with that black back black black, black, black background, background. Yes. Yeah, you know, your flash was on. Um, your your aperture for yeah. your camera was on what? Um, Trevor. Very small. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, once you when you when you're using flash, excuse me, with macro. It's Way to think about it, two ambient lights, uh, two, two lights, one ambient, one flash. Yeah. That's the way to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. effectively, you're closing the aperture right down, and that will give you that beautiful black, yes. blacked out background. You won't get the annoyance of the, yeah. of the background if there is any. Now, I'll draw your attention back to that. I think Ian might have put it up on the screen already. Yeah. But the. Um, the flower? No, the, the uh, photo of the. The crazy eyes? The war, no, the wasp, the, the moth, the, the brown tail moth web. Okay. Okay, yes. Which I took yes. with this, one of the first pictures I took here when, is I, again, when I got this, reference. yeah. Um, and I used this with this flash yes. on the EOS R to yes. take that. Um, and it was stuck on the edge of a bramble bush. Yes. And I didn't want all those brambles distracting in the background. Right. So I dropped the aperture right down F22, yeah. fired it off full power, bang, yeah. and we've got lovely black background, lost all the rubbish background, yeah. and you've just got the beautiful detail yeah. of the Dubra Digit with a slight bias off. I the important which thing flash was here, high and uh, the important lesson here is you're getting it right in camera, aren't you? Exactly. Which and the EOS R does for you. And can I just say, you don't do a you lot can. of editing that either, do you? No, very minimal. Very minimal. Minimal, 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 minimal. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's the unusual flash setup I sometimes use. Yeah. With the two. And of course, that, that, that can be used for portraits. Oh, God, and, no, that's and the bog standard. I've just, yeah. I've just um, sort of hybridised it for my own purposes. Yeah. And this is what's lovely about photography. Yeah. Don't have to necessarily follow any rules. No, of course not. Make it up as you go along. And if you think of something which I often do think oh hang on a minute that'd be a nice idea let's try that and you have a play and a faff about may is, work is may not that, isn't that part of what photography is all about well this is it it's your, a, your artistic view on an infinity of exciting possibilities absolutely god I'm full of crap yeah. aren't I okay Right, where are we now, Mr. Robinson? We've done with flashes. Well, I think we're there, aren't we? Is there anything else in the back? Is, well, actually, I mean, no, there is, is there anything else yeah, in the there is a couple of little There is. Series. I mean, on the flash related yeah. subject, I've also got one ah. of these uh, little battery packs. Yes. Canon battery pack. Takes eight um, AA sized batteries. Yeah. I think it's eight. Yeah. Eight. I've got given one um, then. You lucky smile. I know. All right, boy, boy. I was very lucky. Um, so yeah, it takes eight. Things. And I've got, I've got rechargeables in there, which will hmm. pop up. Um, and it just. Um, Boosts your recycling, increase, improves your recycling time, and yes. less likely to run out of batteries yeah. and stuff. So whichever the main flashes I'm using, I'll total, total mm. that up to it. And one more flash related item is when I've got off-camera flash, and I'm not using this setup. You know all about this. It's the ST. Yes. It's Canon's own remote transmitter, yeah. which you just plonk on there. And then you've uh, got your two slaves, or your three, you can you know, stand here like this. So um, easy to use. And yes, you've got flash yeah. control, and yeah. you can do it in camera, and you can do all sorts of stuff. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant bit of gear. Yeah. Not too expensive, can it? A couple hundred quid. Piece of cake, isn't it? A couple hundred quid. £239. Pounds. That's something I do know. <laughs> 
What do I know about? Oh, maybe, uh, I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> you, you got a ring. We we uh, oh. we were talking about this the control ring. We were talking about Canon. Oh yeah. Right, and how expensive they can be. <laughs> but this yeah. is this is a one-off here. Yeah. I can't. I'm quite copsmacked to be honest. And I missed you it. You missed it. I missed it. I told him. Um, I, um, I, I weren't ready for yeah. it at the time, and you know, yes. whatever. It whatever was, reason. Funny I enough, missed. just it was just before Christmas. Yes. Um, and Canon have got this. Um, well, I was probably skint to be honest, because uh, <coughs> presents. Yes. Yeah. 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 Canon, Canon CPS, Canon Professional Services, um, which you can join as a Canon user, anyone can do it, do it online, piece of cake. How, um, what do we call it? I don't know, you've got, uh, I think it's bronze, gold and platinum oh, yes, there levels is. of yes, service yes, that you can yeah. get. But anyway, that's the gist of it, have a look online. That's basically how much, how much gear, how you've, much gear you've got. You know, what are points make, yeah. points make prizes. Yeah. But anyway, for, for just before Christmas I had an email from Canon CPS saying they're running a, an exclusive promotion for CPS members, really EOS R. If you buy the adapter, EF adapter, with the control ring, which is fully customizable, um, go and buy that at your local camera shop for £199. We will give you £175 cash back. So I rushed to my local <laughs> store, purchased said control ring adapter, did Not all the forms, bing bang bosh, phoned him up and told him, oh yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but it's £200 to it. spend out straight away. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, but, and mm. I got £175 quid, yeah. Um, or yeah, £175 back from yeah. Canon. So that cost me 24 quid. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I I'll, love you. I'll buy it back. Canon. I'll buy it off your feet. You can clear off. Because <laughs> I love it. I mean, I've, I have this. Again, it's worked work beautifully for, well, for all of photography with ESR. Yeah. But for, for me, I have it set for aperture. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, going sure. back to the conventional film days. Yeah. Shut the speed up here. Yeah. Aperture here. Yeah, yeah. Remember it. Piece of cake. Yeah. A bit like this. There you go. Oh, yes. Your uh, medium format. Yes. Yours. So that, that has nice. everything that you've just said. Yeah. Which is quite cool. Okay. Um, My right, that brings us quite, quite closely nicely. to the end, doesn't it? it and does. now I just, just noticed something there. You, you, had your, you had your lens off. What about all that dust? Oh, you know damn well oh, about that dust. <laughs> For us EOS R yeah, users. I, I thought we were just talking about macro gear, not doing a full oh, review of this. But, but you, 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 can't it, you can't help it, can you? can't help it. When the uh, camera's switched off, the shutter comes down, keeps the dust off the centre, yeah. centre, and it's yeah. uh, it's a very useful feature, especially when you're doing silly things like this. I know I say this a lot in my videos, but I do really love that camera. So one more thing, I think. No, there might be two more things, but what? one more thing. What enough? Some more? So, I'm sorry. I'll, more? Be quick. I'll be quick. Okay. Um, macro sliding rails. Yes. Um, I'll just. Let me pop. Pop me tripod up there, get it under there, hopefully you can yeah. you can uh, see it up there. Right there. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, brilliant for accurately lining your camera up and also mm -hmm. being lazy because you don't want to keep moving your tripod about. No. You get it in a roughly the right position and then mm -hmm. you can do it all from here. So one goes on there, it's got a machined in Swiss Arca mount, okay. so it fits everything under the sun, well most things under the sun. Yeah. Um, that one goes on there. Yep. So I now am able to, with the camera there, yeah. I can go move the camera side to side, mm -hmm. nice and easy. And if I want, well, most most exclusively, I'm always nearly always focusing manually, mm -hmm. um, particularly when I've got that on. <coughs> um, I can get the tripod as close as I like or as close as uh, the minimum focus distance will allow, Yes. or very close to, and then yeah. I can just really fine tune the focus yeah. with that rail, so just moving about. Yeah. Tiny and of course you can go the other way as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I can do sideways, yeah, exactly, yeah. for yeah. the composition. Yeah. Um, and it just works, works brilliantly. Now, mm. it's not um, the cheapest of cheapest, cheapest accessories. Well, how much is it? Well, it's funny, As you know, it's funny you should say that. I'm going to be asking, aren't I? <laughs> I know, because you're obsessed with money, you fool. Um, no, you can buy one, these are Novaflex um, mounting rails. Again, yes. no affiliation with Novaflex. I bought these out of my own pocket as I did everything here. Yep. Um, and I just like the, like the manufacturer, beautifully made. Um, 
Probably made in Germany, I suspect. Yes, made in Germany. Um, Good engineering. Brilliantly engineered. Um, worked, worked brilliantly. Um, mm -hmm. By one of them, I think it's about 157 quid for one. one. Yeah. Okay. You can buy a pair at the same time as a as a paired paired up product for 309. So you're saving yourself nine quid or something stupid like that. You're saving so a few quid, but it's 300 odd pounds. quid, 310 quid near as damn it. Yeah. For a set of friends, I mean, uh, there are other manufacturers available, and they are a lot cheaper, but they're not quite as solid and robust, I don't think. As do, you, these. do you think? Do you think maybe the rails are a lot smoother as well? Perhaps. Yeah, yeah they, they just work brilliantly. Yeah, you can find. So fine if you buy tune, a cheaper one, it might be a bit clunky. Yeah, it might be a bit clunky and wibbly yeah. wobbly. Um, you can fine tune the resistance when you're sliding, and you can yeah. lock it off, and I you know, know, it just works beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. Seamlessly, yeah, that, that feels. Yeah, it does. Quality, quality, yeah, so it? you can get a very, very fine yeah. tune. That is, that is quality. Yeah, and you can lock it off with that. that exactly. One, yeah. yeah, lock it off so with that. One. You can see here. So you can lock it off with that one and fine tune. And that that just feels. That's brilliant, uh, isn't it? That feels like it's. Um, Wow, it feels like it's floating in my fingers. Yeah, I know. It feels, it's, it's fabulous. feels like there's oil in there, and yeah. it's, it's really. But yeah, there is no, no it's oil. It's really, really well engineered. Oh my god, that really is really well good. Yeah, I know. It's good bit of kit. Good mm. bit of kit. Um, so you, you pay, pay for what you get. So yeah, you and so having had a, had a little feel of my slide, as you put it, you can understand how you've got really minute adjustment on the focus, which at those yes. critical points of focus where you're dealing with millimeters mm. or yes. fractions of a millimeter, yeah. you can really fine tune it and get that. Focus spot onto the eyes. Want to. If it's an insect, and of course you can do your photo stacking. Well, there is that. I didn't yeah. like to mention that because <laughs> I'm sure we're running out of time. But yeah, I mean, uh, endless possibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a very, very worthwhile bit of kit. And then finally, the last thing. Let's chuck that out of the way. The last little bit. Oh, I mean, I've got loads of stuff in here. Yeah. You're not going to see it all because I've got spare batteries and all the usual stuff, yeah. memory cards, and um, of course. Oh. Here's a, a bonus. What, Didn't expect what that. has he got in his bag? He's got, of, he's got a Father Christmas! Pair of scissors! What are they for? Cutting your nails? No! What, did you get nail, nail? Did you get little bits break your nails of grass. on site? Grass. Little bits of grass. Ah. You, you're grovelling about on the there floor, you go. photographing mushrooms, or something like that, or flowers, crocuses yeah. even. you got a bit of spray grass. Snip, 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 snip. Brilliant. Get it out of the way. So it's not for trimming your beard or anything? No, like well, that. it comes so, in handy if you do yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a face like mine. Um, so the final little gizmo is a, oh I do need that tripod, it's a, uh, a Wimbley Plamp, they call it, stupid name. Wimbley Plamp. 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 But it's a, it's a, it's a L -A -M -P. P -L -A -M -P, yeah. Plamp. Okay. And it's a Mark II version, I don't know what the Mark I was like, but I've got the Mark II. Well, right. um, and it's quite simple, you clamp it, and it's a brilliant tight grip. Clamp oh, it on your tripod, see lots of things or you can there. stick it on a branch, yeah. or you know, you can clamp it to something, yeah, and then hold something else either still because your grass is moving on a windy day, or yeah. your flower stems moving, you can just hold it, and this screws in and out. Okay, and if you can see that from above, and it's you've got a very fine and it will tighten out control. Nicely. So, so if, it's you, not if a you're spring, photographing a it's flower not a spring stem, clamps. say you're photographing yeah, tulips, yeah. it's a breezy day, yeah. you've got foam in there and it's not going to break okay, the yeah, stem yeah. and the flower yeah. goes pop. So mm. it's really well designed, works well, a bit like your sliders. Is that now, I, I did ask and I think you, we got the answer, but um, is, that, is this quite strong? Is it strong enough to take, um, say it's, for example, a flash gun? No, it's not strong enough to take the weight of a flash. Okay, so what is it? But it would take the weight, if I so required, of one of these. Okay. So if I wanted to stick, you know, keep one on, on the front of the camera yeah. and the other one I wanted to stick over here or yeah. under there, you can clip then it I could it. clip it, I could clamp it on. And have you done that before then? I haven't, no. No? I haven't. So would you, would you do that? Oh, you yes. Think? <laughs> oh yeah. In are you, are you, uh, I mean, if you had two of these, yeah. Well, no, I'm actually. That'd be quite cool. I'm right? probably going to buy another one of these. So you could have one flash on one side, one flash on the other. Well, just yeah. scenarios. I right? could, I could get silly like that if yeah. I wanted. Well, nothing wrong with that at all. But uh, I mean, the more use, from my point of view, of just holding things still yeah. and, and and putting them just where you want them in front of the camera. All right, fair enough. If that's yeah. you, if yeah. that's your game. So yeah. And how much you like it? Out of interest. Oh, Fifty-two quid. Oh, they really? Yeah. Not too cheap then. Well, I mean, here's a lesson. Well, I don't know if it's a lesson, but um, 
I bought something of a similar nature on mm. eBay for about 10 quid, I think. I can imagine what you're going to say. And it was just totally useless. Yeah. You know, you put a blade of grass in the end and it goes... Really? <laughs> it was a joke. So that went got back, got my money back, and off yeah. I went to my local camera store and bought one of these. I have to admit, I've never seen one of those <coughs> oh, used for photography. <coughs> Um, sorry, so, I've got a frog in my throat. <laughs> talking about frogs and throats. Yeah. One of the oh, other, one of the other, one of the other first photos I took with my RF 35 mm macro lens was on the EOS up was a frog. <laughs> and Ian's going to stick that up for you. One knee was in sting in that. I was one yeah. knee was on a thistle, but I got the frog. I tell you what, this, this video flows so well, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Have you finished? Well, I'm done. <laughs> I'm worn out. He's killed me. Well, look, thank you very much for coming. That's actually an absolute pleasure. Yeah, absolutely absolute fantastic. Pleasure. I've enjoyed it. It's very thank nice you very much. I hope everyone has uh, um, this, this is, of course, something. If this is, of course, one, one, one of the series out of three that we're doing. So we're going to come back here, but we're going to be doing um, um, wild, wildlife next time. No, no landscape. 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 We're going to do that. Because you're the landscape expert, and I'll stand where oh, you are, yeah. and I'll ask you how much <laughs> everything you've got is. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well. Right. Well, we'll do landscape, and um, uh, for the next session. Um, so tune in for that one. And um, and as I say, thank you very much, Trevor. Pleasure. Uh, absolutely fantastic Pleasure. gear you have. I'm Pleasure. very jealous. Um, <laughs> gear envy. Uh, but no, fantastic. And uh, yes, we'll see you on the next next uh, episode, which uh, is number two of landscapes and what you need for landscapes. Okay. So thank you very much, and a lovely old job. <laughs>